Hey everyone, it's Chris here from B&B Offroad. Today I'm going to show you the products we have available for the CRF 450R. We have a 2021 model here. These products are going to be to fit to the current 2023 model. And I'm going to start with the bash plate. So here we go. All your mounts will be attached. Don't get both fooled by these ones here. They are spun around for packaging purposes. A bit of a new thing we've started doing um, are the linkage guards that will bolt onto the bash plate. And all it requires is th three bolts. So to start with, I'm going to assemble the linkage guard. So I'll remove this rear Z clamp. Countersunk bolt. Now, all of our bash plates are made from four millimeter thick, 5083 structural grade aluminium. We use steel, steel zinc coated or stainless uh, bracketry where required. And all, all the bolts uh, needed for the install. Bit of a fumble there. <laughs> Cut that one. <clears throat> Next, I'm going to remove the front brackets. We try to make the installation as uh, smooth as possible. So these front brackets have been designed to install to the bike so for easy removal of your bash plate down the track. You won't have to take these back off. Let's head over to the bike. So we've got your brackets here. We supply these longer hex head high tensile bolts, 8.8 .8 steel zinc. Now they're going to replace the engine, engine mount bolts here. They're a lot longer and they're going to utilize them to mount the brackets on the inside. Nip them back up. Nip them back up firm, or you can refer to your manual to the manufacturer's specs, but that felt good to me. Now repeat the same process on the other side. 
but we'll get skip ahead we'll get the bracket mounted okay now for the installing of the brackets I'm just gonna lay down the ground here I've got the pre-installed engine mount bolts you can see they're much longer than the genuines determine which side the bracket goes won't really work you've got this extra turn here if you're having to put that on the wrong side it's going to clash with the frame you're right left I just double check myself, make sure I do have it right. Never be too sure. Exactly why I checked, because I did have it the wrong way. <laughs> <laughs> so they're sitting there like, and we're just going to spin on these flange nuts. Now, they're a steel zinc plated flange nut. They're serrated so they bite into the material and stop them from spinning off. Nylocks are not a necessity in this situation. Uh, these are good. You can take them on and off and reuse them. Once you've used a nylock, you pretty much are meant to replace it because it's not, it doesn't have the same effect when you use it the first time. Plus they're a pain to spin on a bolt, like so. So once you've got that on, I'm gonna grab uh, 13, yeah. A little bit of space here. I might end up grabbing my socket for this one. There we go. They need up. I'm happy with that. Now, going to grab the bash plate. Oh. Alright, it's a bit windy here in Bella. So excuse the road noise and the wind, if you can hear it. Now what I like to do is just get this Z clamp just loosely attached to the bash plate. Oh, wrong one. It's on there loose. You've got plenty of movement. Then you shouldn't have to try and hold it in place and fiddle around get it in place. You can literally just slip it up over the rear frame rail there, up into position, just, just tighten them a little bit so it sort of holds it in place. Then we'll get the front stainless button head bolts in. You're installing it and you feel like it's you know your holes aren't lined up we do have foam on the inside of the bash plate sometimes that can be a bit firm after you've had it on once right, you, got, you just push it up and compress it it'll be much easier the next time so. 
Put that one. Just center it. Underneath here. Just on that a little bit. Push up, as far as you can. You can even use your knee, or whatever you need to do. That's gonna pull in, compress the foam. And then, we'll nip up the rear here. Now I've never had one of these come loose on me, but you can always use a medium strength Loctite. So that'll eliminate them ever rattling loose while you're riding. But you can easily remove it again without too much trouble. And there you have it. Thanks for watching guys. There you go guys, hope you liked the installation video. Uh, the other products we had available, have available I should say, uh, rebrake mask cylinder guard. Gives you a nice flat, smooth surface, less snagging points, obviously protects the mask cylinder as well. Uh, you have the beautiful shiny bash plate and a front sprocket case saver. Um, this has been designed standard sprocket and chain. Um, there is a, you got a few mil of clearance from the train to the, the case saver itself. So you probably can go up a, a sprocket size. Uh, I don't have one here. That's for yourself to determine. But there you have it. It's the three products. Hope you enjoyed. Cheers.